Hello, beach friends. Hurricane Ada came through and it was here for a while. So I went shelling on three different days just to make sure I didn't miss any of the action. I found a bunch of live critters. We're gonna have a really cool close encounter with a Florida fighting cock and see him in action under the water. We're also gonna find a ton of angel wings. The beach was literally littered with them. We're gonna find a bunch of apple murexes. We're gonna admire some gorgeous shells from living critters. It's a long video this time, and I hope you're ready to spend some time at the beach. The surf is looking a little bit more active than normal because Ada is on its way. Here we are on Saturday, November 10th at Fort Myers Beach. There's definitely all sorts of shells washed up on the beach, especially those white looking clams known as disc docenia. We did manage to find a few shells, but most of them were pretty beat up. I'm not entirely surprised because obviously the surf has been a little rough lately, but hopefully there will be at least a few goodies for us to check out. Here we have a shark eye. He's a little chipped. He's got some shells in there, but for the most part, he's okay. And here we have a little Florida fighting conch, a wee little shell. And another, he's a little bit bigger, but weird, right? Same, same species. They kind of go from smooth to ribbed to smooth again. Here's all, look at all those dystocenias. Oh, they're just everywhere. Crafter's dream. Little top snail. It looks like my husband found a serif, an apple murex, and a shark eye. And here looks like I found myself a murex. Eh. Well, he's a little beat up, kind of got holes and whatnot. Again, I'm not surprised. Oh, an operculum. Not in great shape, but still an operculum nonetheless. And a little lightning whelk. And here we have a little worm snail. This is known as a Fargo worm snail. One of the two different kinds we find down here. We have two serifs and another one of those Fargo worm snails in the middle. Lots of shells. Here it looks like an auger. Yep. Tons of clams. Oh, a prickly cockle. A Florida prickly cockle. And this, I think, is a little tiny lace murex. I think those small ones are hard, but I think that's what that is. And that one as well, he's a little bit more pronounced with a little pretty color. That one I'm a little more certain is a little tiny lace murex. Aw, cute little guy. Looks like I'm going for this little shark eye. Yeah, he's in pretty good shape, all things considered. And this, I think, is a little bruised NASA. It's hard. I, those little ones are hard for me, but I think that's what that is. And this guy, he's kind of cool. This is a fly speck serif. Start kind of paying attention. We do have serifs down here, and that guy, I believe, is a fly speck serif. Looks like the husband has a broken apple murex, a broken button snail, and an auger. Those augers are kind of resilient. Another apple murex in relatively okay shape. Oh, a little, little shark eye. He's a little chipped. And another shark eye. Ooh, ooh, somebody snacked on him. Somebody drilled a hole in him. So as a reminder, we are, this is Saturday and the storm is gonna hit the following night. So we wanted to get out there and see what we would find. Oh, a little true, a little broken true tulip. Bummer. 
and it looks like we got an Apple Murex on top and a Lace Murex on the bottom. And here we have the skeleton of a sea whip. These guys are actually soft coral and they don't need algae to survive, so they live much deeper than regular old coral. Finding all sorts of stuff on the beach. Look at that. A beat up baby ear. Oh well, it's still a baby's ear. Oop. But it's beat up. I'm still happy with it. I like those shells. Okay, and then a perculum and a little auger. So that was the fruit of before the storm. Not much, in my opinion, to really talk about. Okay, fine, we had that baby's ear, a couple murex, the little lace murex. Okay, those were kind of cool. But all in all, not what I expected, which is why I went out two more times. So now we're headed out again. Now this is on the 12th of November. This is kind of in between the storm. The storm came and this is the part where it kind of left. So we went out, low tide was at 4.12. So I snuck out and got out there for low tide, hoping that, you know, hurricane, low tide, tons of shells. Let's see what we find. All right. There's uh, some stuff. Not the piles I was hoping for. All right, we'll kick it off with this. I think it looks relatively glossy, is a pointy olive. Okay, and a broken Florida fighting conch. Now, this guy also real pretty, look at that, like a rose. And I kind of like it because it's got a shell kind of like jammed in there. That makes it even that more special. And these little crossbarred Venus clams, they were everywhere. These are alive. There were tons of them. It is low tide, so we're gonna be finding all sorts of neat stuff. You know, the gulf is still a little bit angry. It's a little more active than it normally is. Still pretty. All right, okay, Florida fighting conch. You know, I like, I like these guys. We are gonna have a close encounter with one of those, which is actually really cool. Horse conch. Now, I should put as a disclaimer, the one that I'm looking for, I would like the whole shell, not just like most of it. So hopefully I'll find one. Here we have a calico scallop. He's got those pretty sunbeams, that sunbeam pattern. And a live Florida fighting conch. This guy's just a juvenile. He's on the smaller side and I've never seen one of those guys alive. So I was pretty, uh, I was pretty psyched. I'd only really found the big ones. Look at those little googly eyes. Oh, they're funny. And they're that dark area, well, on the head. He's got those two eyes, he's got eye stalks, and he's got that snout. Kind of works, uh, works like a trunk. And I will show you that because we're gonna watch this guy in action under the water, not that particular one, a different one. And him I almost put back where there wasn't all that much water, but I figure while we're at it, let's just Let's just make sure I tuck them in nice somewhere with some water. There you go, buddy. There's more of those clams and look, they're spitting. Can you see the water just kind of spitting all over the place? Isn't that funny? <laughs> the sand was alive. Very cool. Okay. Now that gunk on the side, no problem. That'll come off that gorgeous lightning whelk. Oh, look how pretty. Isn't that gorgeous? Mm. Taken. There is a critter in there. Those little eyeballs. So that was, uh, was kind of fun. I'd never seen one of those guys alive. And it looks like I might have found a lightning whelk in that tide pool. Yep, nobody's home, he's a keeper. And look at this, how cool is that? Super spiny jewel box. Oh, I thought he was fantastic. So pretty. And I'll wait. What do we got, guys? We got a nutmeg. 
with nobody home. Just some sand and water. So that is Keeper. Woohoo! Okay, we're gonna get a little. Per we're gonna get have a close up. We're gonna get close and personal with this little guy because he was kind of like foraging. See his little. See his little eyeballs sticking out there. So he wasn't just buried, kind of like stuck in his shell. And I thought that was really, really cool and an opportunity to kind of like check him out a little bit further. So I grabbed my GoPro and we're gonna go see what this guy looks like in action. Now, the thing that I thought was really cool and I'm able to show you guys is the way that the shell kind of curves is for his little eyeballs to stick out. See his eyeballs? His two little eyeballs there. And you'll see once he kind of swings around a little bit, <laughs> the way, see the way the shell kind of curves and his little eyeballs sticking out? That is exactly why that shell is shaped like that. And then now you can kind of see his snout. It's acting like a trunk, it's kind of searching for algae. That's what these guys eat. They are plant eaters. They only eat algae. How cool is he? Just kind of bumping along there. Let me just reposition the camera to get one more look at him. I thought that was awesome. He's got those little eye stalks. He's just kind of like, <laughs> I don't even know what you would call that kind of movement because he's not really snailing along. He's kind of hopping along. There he goes. Oh, he's so cool. So that my friends is what an active moving Florida fighting conch looks like. Thank you so much, little guy. Very cool. And here we have a live horse conch. It is a bummer that I got to put him back. Somebody else had actually found him. So, I, well, I wanted to make sure that he made it back in the water. So they let me film him. And I'm digging a hole with my foot so I can kind of tuck him back in. There you go, buddy. I'll find one of you guys someday that I can keep. And look, look how pretty. Oh man. But what I'm going to find out very soon is all these little shells I'm finding have critters in them. Look at this little guy. Oh, tell me that's not cute. Look at, he's just his little tiny eyeballs and his little tiny, his little operculum. See that little sickle shaped thing at the end of his foot? That's his operculum. Aw, <laughs> I thought he was cute. Little did I know I was going to find them all afternoon long. There's his little eyeballs. And man, the shells were gorgeous. They were so pretty. All right, here's a juvenile. It appears empty, but I'm being real careful because everybody down here seems to be home. Let's see. Oh, yep, he's home too. Look at that pattern though. Oh man. Dude, you have a really nice home. Really pretty. And this guy, I think think there's nobody home, but you know what? Just to be on the safe side, we're going to leave him. Just in case. Oh man. Oh, look how pretty. I already know somebody's home. Yeah. Oh, they have really pretty shells, those juveniles. Another one, yep, he's alive with a really pretty shell. So now we're on a rescue mission. <laughs> you know, find all these little guys and put them in the water. Oh, there's another rescue. Another prickly cockle. Yep, he's alive and well. Let's get him in the water too. There you go, buddy. And that kind of see it that's a nine armed sea star they are also called millipedes and it's always really confusing to me when you have these critters and shells that have more than one name but those guys are known as both millipedes and nine armed sea stars Ooh, empty maybe I couldn't really tell that one Scott's gonna have a critter in it 
Yeah, we'll just look at the pretty shell. Ooh, just, just in case, we'll leave him. Oh, you know, he's alive, you can see him moving, but I thought the top of that shell was really pretty. It looks sculptured, like beaded. Oh, that was so pretty. I don't really know what he's doing, but let's just take a closer look. Well, <laughs> didn't expect that. I just wanted to take a closer look, my friend. Sorry. You have a very pretty home. Thank you for letting us take a little bit closer look. And we'll just help you out and put you in some water. Another rescue. I'm telling you, these little shells were beautiful. They were so pretty. I, and they were alive. I don't know if there's any correlation between the fact that they're alive and the shells are so pretty. I really don't know. They're, they just were spectacular. They were so pretty. I thought that was like a crown conch, but nope, that's, a, that's our Florida fighting conch. Look at that. Oh, I thought that was gorgeous. And a couple more. They were everywhere. But I did find one I could keep. All right, this guy, nobody's home. It's a little chipped, but it's kind of damn having it. It's all right. He's super knobby. Look at that. I thought he was really cool. Another guy. Look, there's like pink. I have never seen one that color. I thought that was super neat. And then I spotted that pink one. What? Oh man, that's cool. Never seen one that color. I thought that was so neat. Let them hang out together. And hopefully a keeper. Yeah, looks like we got ourselves a lightning whelk. And a piece. I think that's an alphabet cone. And another piece of a relatively big apple murex. That's too bad. But I'm, again, not surprised. It's The water's been churning for days at this point. Although, again, I didn't get those shell piles. That's kind of what I expected after a hurricane. I realize it's low tide, so of course we're going to find like the critters and whatnot, like this guy. He's, he's a rescue. Put him back in the water, but not what I expected. Hmm. A broken crown conch. Bummer. I like those guys too, super pretty. But we'll leave them for someone else. It appears to be another very pretty shell that I cannot keep. Dang it. Oh, and these guys, these guys were funny. And there's two hermit crabs. They have a lightning walk shell respectively. They each have their own it. For whatever reason, they I don't know, they don't know what they were doing, saying hi, fighting. It was very hard to tell. Don't know what they're doing. And they were so small, I couldn't even really quite tell what kind of crab it was, but just wanted to show you. And this poor guy, that's a calico scallop. We're gonna get him over to some water. The tide's coming in, but it might be a while. So let's just make sure he doesn't struggle too, too much. I like these calico scallops. They're neat because they're not the same on both sides. I kind of like the prickly cockles. You'd expect to kind of flip it over and see the same pattern, but not the case. I'm going to put him back serendipitously right next to another calico scallop. And I'll show you, see how it's pink and white on that side. And then it's got that other pattern on the other side. Kind of cool. And what do we got here? Okay, pear whelk. Ah, drat. It has a hole in it, but relatively good color. It's too bad. That would have been a nice shell. And another hermit crab, and he's a little guy inside an auger. So yeah, I was real nervous about bringing some of these shells home because uh, didn't want to make you know didn't want any little crabs or anything else to come home with us. 
and a lightning whelk. Now, normally you would not be pulling a whole one out of the sand like that, but be, oh, he had to repair himself. But because it was a tide pool and the sand is nice and soft, you might actually find a whole whelk like that. The nope, tide is coming in. Surface still churning a little bit. Still not a bad way to spend a couple of hours. And since I was in the water, it looks like I found another lightning whelk, although he is a little discolored on that one side. Oh, and another without discoloration. Woohoo! And the birds. And I've said this not too many times. I don't want to harp on it. But if you're at the beach, don't let your kids run after the, the birds. They need their energy. Especially after these storms have been coming through. They have nowhere to go. I, I, where do they go? I don't know. But they're probably tired. Don't chase them. Oh, orange scallop. I can't resist those orange guys. And another, okay, a rough scallop. And he's got his little bottom pieces. Very cool. And this is one of my favorite parts of the beach. Eventually, probably all those pilings will be gone. They will get eaten up by the sea. But in the meantime, I'll enjoy them. Oh, this guy, he was funny. Well, there was a couple of them, but I just stood there watching him. This is an American oyster catcher. So he's going to go ahead in there. He's going to find himself a little snack. He's looking. Yep, got himself a snack. And he doesn't eat it there. He's going to run back over to the tide pool and then open up and enjoy his meal. Yeah, it was kind of like a buffet for those guys. And I was wondering if anything eats the Florida fighting cocks. I was worried about them because they were all over too. But hopefully those oyster catchers will just stick to the bivalves. Ooh, hi, Florida Fighting Conk. I have a new appreciate. Well, I've always really kind of liked you, but now maybe just a little bit more so if that's even possible. And so, guys, that's the haul after day two. Looks like the husband found on the right there a couple of lightning whelks. He did find a color from Moon Snail. It was kind of cool. An olive, a top snail, and you were with me. I didn't get all that much. A couple lightning whelks. That nutmeg. So that was the result of our second day. Again, not what I expected. So we went one more time. So this is post storm. This is again low tide. And we are, there is some dredging, nothing to speak of. You don't need to come here. It's not really all that much really getting pulled up, but they are doing some beach, moving some sand around. It looks like we're going to start off with plop, <laughs> an angel wing. Those are fun shells. Oh, he cleaned up pretty good. And another angel wing. All right, he's got a big old hole. Here's another one. And that happens a lot. You'll find one particular shell and then you'll just keep finding that same shell. And it looks like I'm on a roll here with these angel wings. All right, in one shape looks like for the most part. It's like a little pile going. We're not all that close to the water at this point. Ah. And a broken one. I'm actually surprised to find so many whole ones because not that they're that delicate, they're a little bit on the delicate side. And especially after the gulf has been so churned up for so many days. All right, looks like I got myself Dystocenia and a couple of those angel wings. I suspect we'll find a couple more. Here we go. All right, he's broken. We'll leave him. Because I have a feeling there's plenty. So here's another one. Kind of see how thin they are. Hmm. A couple of broken ones. And another. 
you believe this? So at this point, I've already kind of determined I can get a little bit picky about these angel wings because I'm finding them left and right. There's another. And yeah, I try to like go under the sand and poke the shells up. I do that with sand dollars too, so I'm not actually like using the shell. I'm afraid it'll break. And another angel wing. Yeah, he looks like to be in one piece. All right. And I think that's broken. Yeah. Wait a minute. And that guy had a little, little bit of, I don't know what that was. So I figured I'd take it down to the water and clean it up. So guys, if you were in the market for angel wings on this particular day, you would have hit the jackpot. They were everywhere. Let's take a peek at this urchin. Eh. Deceased, the critter's still in there. Oh, which reminds me, this really didn't smell that good. There probably was all sorts of dead fish and crabs, but look, my angel wing collection is growing. Okay, that guy's broken, but I'm still at it. I kind of turned into a game like, okay, how many angel wings can I collect? Uh-oh. All right, Critter's obviously not with us anymore, and he was connected at some point, but we'll get that all cleaned up. Yep, another angel wing. wonder how many I'm going to end up with. So walking a little bit more, I was honestly looking for a wental trap. I was really kind of hoping within this quagmire of shells and grass and whatnot, I would find one, but definitely hit the jackpot with the angel wings. And if I was collecting the disc docenias, let's see what we got here. Okay. Uh, he's got a chip. I can be picky because I got, I don't know at this point, a lot. I don't know how many, but several. Okay. It's kind of fun. And it looks like we got a paper fig, but he's broken. Angel wing. Now, what would you guys have done? If you were here and all you're finding are angel wings, would you have collected them all? What would you have done? Would you have taken just a couple? and then maybe moved on to something else. I'm curious, let me know in the comments what, uh, what you would have done if you had come across these piles and just tons and tons of angel wings. I decided to make it kind of like a game and just keep picking them up. A little broken lightning walk. I'll take my pile, clean them up and see what else we got. All right. Another wing. Let's see. Scanning for angel wings. That's whole and not broken. Let's check that guy out. Nope, he's got a hole. Broken. Looks like we got here. Okay, cool. That's a true tulip that has going to need some serious cleaning, but I'm keeping them because of the kind of day we're having. Plus it's actually kind of a good size. So hopefully he'll clean up. Okay. All right. Another crown conch with a hole in it. I like those guys. I, well, I guess I just like spiky things, but we'll leave them. Wait, what do we got here? We got a tulip. Those banded tulips. I can't quite tell if he's pitted. I think he might be. Yeah. And looks like a little Florida fighting conch. Luckily, he's empty. Yay. Woohoo. And another.
another angel wing. And just a piece. Can you, I, <laughs> you ever seen anything like this? I haven't. I've never seen anything like this. I'm glad I made the most of it. Ah, oh, he's broken. Tons and tons. You believe this? All right, he's broken. It just, it was crazy, crazy to have all those shells. I personally like when there's like a variety, when little this, little that. I'm not complaining, definitely not complaining, but I do prefer to one, be in the water and two, kind of looking at a variety of things. But in a little bit, we're actually gonna relocate because all I seem to be finding are these angel wings and I did wanna maybe try something else. Yep, they were in the water too. They were up in the high tide line. They were down by the water. They were, they were just everywhere. It was nuts. All right, looks like husband made a little deposit of two shark eyes. That guy looks like he's in pretty good shape. Nobody snacked on him. Little guy is a little bit more chipped, but they're keepers. And these, he said, uh, they're no good. He found them. They're uh, Apple Murex. And so, well, I have to go back and take another look, you know, just to make sure. And those two, yeah, he's right here pitted in this. Wait a minute. He doesn't look so bad. <laughs> all right. Hey, he's a little pitted. All right. Not great. And this guy, eh, he's all right. But that guy... I think that's a keeper. So I took it down to the water, gave it a quick wash just to confirm and yep, I'm keeping him, he's pretty. And those I had brought to the beach to recycle and they were still there. I was really surprised. I had absolutely no competition with the angel wings. I could take as many as I wanted. Nobody was taking those shells. So it was definitely a day for shellers like me because there was nobody else out there. Yay. And husband found a little top snail. Not to be confused with this little, little, little top snail. Look how tiny. Little guy. And we got a couple pieces. Can't quite tell. Some drills maybe. Broken apple murex. So yeah, he didn't have much luck either. I mean, and obviously he wasn't looking for angel wings, in which case he would have found lots and lots of them so we decided to relocate because we had done everything we were going to do at that part of the beach and so we'd moved a little bit south and see what else we're going to find so again it's a kind of sporadic don't have those big bushels of stuff you know, this weird slipper attached to this moon to yeah to a shark eye a moon snail and prickly cockle and al alive and well kind of looks like one of those giant atlantic cockles but he's not that is a giant atlantic cockle but he's a wee he's a little guy isn't he cute i'll just check him out and put him back all right what Yay, a baby's ear. Just wonder if that was a gunk on it. It doesn't look to be pristine, but I'm still pretty happy with that. And a lace murex that has definitely seen better days. Oh well. And a rescue. There's a little Florida fighting conch. Hopefully he'll make it. We'll do what we can do. Oh, well, while we're here, let's check out this tulip. All right, he's a little beat up and we've got stuff on it. Wow, what a day. Yeah, it was real pretty. That's why we didn't give up and just go home after that first visit. We figured, yeah, let's try a different part of the beach. We're not done yet. 
It was beautiful. Murex, all right, not perfect, but pretty good. He's not pitted or anything. Just a little thin on the aperture. Oh, and another. Friends, do I see another new pattern emerging? Perhaps. Now what do we got? All right, a broken lightning whelk. Make that two broken lightning whelks. Well, is he really broken? He's really just kind of beat up. And that's what we were dealing with. Yay! A chestnut turban. Aren't they pretty? I like them guys. And another Murex. An apple. He's, ah, yeah, he's kind of, is he missing a piece? I can't really tell. Yeah, he's kind of missing a chunk. And this guy, look how big. I mean, that's, for an Apple Murex, at least the ones that I find, that was a pretty good size one. He's not perfect. He's a little pitted, color's not great, but still was happy with it. And a gaudy Nautica, colorful moon snail. Oh, that's an awesome find. Oh no, another rescue. Aw, oh, buddy. All right, let's get him into the water and hope he makes it. Another Apple Murex. Okay, we have reached the Apple Murex part of the beach. We checked out of Angel Wing and checked into Apple Murex. Broken Shark Eye. No Wentzel traps yet. What do we got? A little pear whelk? Yep. At least he's intact. Oh, a little lightning whelk. Sitting right next to this little top snail. Cool. Something different, finally. <laughs> he looks pink. Doesn't it look pink? He's alive. Yay. I'll give him a little bit more water. Yep, he looks a little pink to me. Again, very awesome. Another, what? It's alive. This is only the second live Apple Murex I've ever found. And the other one that I found was actually quite big. It was even a little bit bigger than this guy. Look at him, his little perculum there. He's all tucked away in his little hole. And his little shell. So I wanted to walk out past the surf because that's where I had found that other one. And we'll just leave him there. Look at this guy. All right, he closed, so I know it's alive. I'm going to dig him out. Spiny jewel box. And he's real spiny, so let's clean him up. Oh, look at how cool he is. What's particularly cool about this guy is his spikes are like a pink color. That is so neat. I do, I love those guys. Very cool. Nice, clean, beautiful Florida fighting conch. Oh, he's pretty. All right, got ourselves another Apple Murex and a juvenile Florida fighting conch and another Apple Murex. Awesome. All right, pretty cool. And this guy was weird because he's got a bubble in there. Luckily, there's no hermit crab or critter or anything, but there is another shell kind of jammed in there. You got a twofer. And another really spiky jewel, uh, yep, yeah, a spiny jewel box. Oh, he's cool. And he's also pink and white, which is kind of interesting. And another Murex with stuff in it. Looks like also sand and a little bubble. He's got some pretty decent color. And another Murex. Yep, we are doing awesome on the Murex. Two more, and it looks like a little crown conch. Let's take another look at that guy. Aww. I love them. They're beautiful color. Not quite spiky yet, but great color. 
Another Apple Murex. Woohoo! Cool, yep, gotta make sure there's no critters in there. Get this little auger while we're here. And a tulip. Right, cool banded tulip. He's a little pitted. Still a good find, in my opinion. So that was our three days of hurricane shelling. Not what I expected. I did expect there to be more shells, different shells, piles of shells. But that's not what happened. Some people found some stuff. Other people kind of found what I did. Little tiny this, little tiny that. And this guy, this would normally be kind of exciting, except that I'm in my driveway and I have a shell with a hermit crab in it. So that is a real bummer. We missed him. So when I get home from shelling, I rinse them off. I shoot, you know, kind of lay them out and shoot them. And I found this little guy. So we missed this one. And that's why I say over and over and over, you know, be really careful. Because if you had gotten all the way back to your hotel or your condo, you know, you driving somewhere, that might've been a problem. But I drove to the closest beach, which is Bunch Beach. Really wasn't that far, no big deal. We'll just drop him back off where he belongs in the ocean and not at my house. I do not have anything to keep him alive, so he has to go back. So this was what my husband, he actually managed to find a Genonia, which is kind of cool. And then you have a couple of those Fargo worm snails and the shark guy. And this is what I found. A couple of tulips, tons of murex, tons and tons of murex. A couple of lightning whelks, that chestnut turban, a couple of Florida fighting conchs, couple shark eyes that got in Nautica, which was cool. And then earlier in the day, I found what, like a bazillion angel wings. I did end up counting these all, go ahead and guess, 77 angel wings. So this was a really long video. If you've made it this far, thanks for sticking with me. It was three days of hurricane shelling, but not to worry, I've done some negative low time shelling lately. So those videos will be coming next week. Thank you very much for staying with me. Thank you for your comments. Thank you for your support. You guys are the best. See you again next week.